In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful three steps to success slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added this kind of a rocket and then the image of the night with the stars in the background. And then you can add the three steps, which is the vision goal and the success. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle from the rectangle option. So select this option. And you can see here this particular the guidelines I'm going to select or draw a rectangle which is not exceeding this vertical line. Okay, so again starting from the, the top left corner. Okay, drag this one and make sure it should not go beyond this vertical line and you can bring it somewhat below this horizontal line. Okay, so maybe this much. So it looks something like this. All right make sure it should not go like this all right it should always be inside this or within this uh, vertical line all right the next thing is shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to edit the shape by right click mouse and then select the edit points we can see here four points now i can edit this particular rectangle to any shape i want so first of all select this one which is at the bottom left you can see here and then just drag this up okay make sure that it should not go like this or it should not be like this exactly it should be on the the vertical line all right it looks something like this then again i'm going to add three more points again right mouse click edit points here i'm going to select you can see when i bring my cursor here it, it changes the cursor to something like this okay so when it changes like this right mouse click and add point that is one point i'm just going to add one more here right mouse click and add point and one more point i'm going to add it here right mouse click and add point so you can see here i've added three points now these three points i'm going to make it a smooth uh, corner okay so example it looks something like this okay so now right mouse click and say that smooth point here also right mouse click and select the smooth point here also select the smooth point so the moment you select this one it gives you a different shape now select this one bring it up and bring this down you can see here and this also making make this up somewhat up and bring this down you can see here so depending on the requirement you can just adjust the shape you want here all right you can see here it looks something like this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one so select this one right mouse click and duplicate also not right mouse click just select and press ctrl d to duplicate okay sorry for that now bring this aside go to the shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and put it exactly here make sure that there should not be any gap here something like this okay it should be attached to the first one so my shape looks something like this now i'm going to select both the shapes okay by holding the shift key then go to the merge shape and make it union so it becomes one shape here all right now in this particular shape i'm going to insert some image of the sky with stars okay for that right mouse click go to the format shape under the fill select the picture or texture fill so by default whatever the image i've used recently it's updated here it's up to you you can keep it or uh, uh, you can just click on the insert and if you have the image already in your pc you can select this option or if you are using some uh, online pictures which requires active internet connection you can use these images so i'm going to select the online pictures and here i'm going to type uh, say the sky with stars sky with stars enter key and then you can see here these particular images have come so which depending on the requirement whichever uh, image you need you can just uh, keep and select that one so for example i'm going to i have already selected this image before so if you want to just change it you can just change it so let me just change this one to this and click insert so 
you can see here the image got changed here again if you want to bring back you can just go and select again from here and change the picture you want anyway for the time being let's keep this one only and the next thing is i would like to draw a, a kind of a rocket instead of drawing i can use of the option which is already available called the icon so go to the insert click on the icons i'm going to type here the rocket enter key and you can see here select this rocket and click insert the rocket got inserted here and then i'm going to rotate it by i mean i want to make this a straight so i can alt and the right arrow key or left arrow key you can see here i uh, sorry alt and the left arrow key and increase the size by holding the shift key you can see here now i would like to give a different color now i cannot give a different color for each object so in, what i need to do here is i have to go and convert to shape okay convert to shape now it is all separated you can see here so now this particular color the body i would like to give a kind of a blue color and here i would like to give a kind of uh, orange color you can see here this one i would like to give kind of a red color i'm just giving any color of your choice you can give and the, the top part i would like to give a kind of a green okay now select all of these objects and press ctrl g to group it and move it here so it looks something like this all right then go to the insert text box here i'm going to type three steps to success you can just choose any font i'm going to use open sans extra bold and i'm going to make it very loose increase the size and center align you can give any color maybe i'm going to give a a kind of a blue color all right so you can see here three steps to success and then what are the steps three or four or five depending on that one you need to insert the icons so i can just choose the icons from this list again so i can just say one is i i'm going to select this one the other one is i'm going to select goal and for this i'm going to do this one and one more i would like to use this and click insert so three insert icons are inserted here so i'm now going to bring this i here the goal in the center and this is at the right all right so again if you want to give different colors to it you can just go and give any color of your choice then you can insert the text box any option i'll just say option one or the step one what do you call it if you want you can make it bold also hold the control shift key drag it towards the center again hold the control shift key and release it so this is option two and this is option three so let me just move this icon somewhat up okay and then you can insert some detailed text here so equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one so i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete this center aligned reduce the font size to maybe 12 and put it here align it properly hold the control shift key drag this towards the right under these options done so you can see here we have added the three steps to success added the icons the text and the uh, option numbers here again if you want to do some basic animation also you can do it